How's it going everyone? Caleb here with Layton Gaming. This time for Ryan P. Got ourselves a VMAX Climax booster box and a Nightfall booster. Good luck, man. Um, oh boy. Um, I am going to start with... I don't know, man. <laughs> I'll start with uh, the Nightfall, I guess. The Nightfall booster. A tough one here to pick and which one to start with. Uh, so let's do it, man. Good luck. I, I bet I haven't missed more than like three, to be honest, if any, Jacob, because the chat is pretty good at pretty good at reminding me. So um, if I've if I've missed any, it's got to be less than you can count on one hand. But like I said, generally speaking, the chat is very good at reminding me if I do forget. All right, guys, into personals. Ryan here, starting with the MetaZoo. Yeah, this was a tough decision, Kimmy. <laughs> but figure I'll go to some MetaZoo first. Keep it nice and fresh here. Just did some Pokemon. Let's hop over to some MetaZoo. Nightfall, good luck. Nice start for yourself, Ryan. First pack, first Mothman, full hollow. Congrats. Very nice. Very, very nice. Could you imagine, though, actually having an old scratch counter? That would be nuts. <laughs> an old scratch counter. There was a lot of bats on that, I was going to say. Let's uh, let's start seeing some bats tonight. I'm, I'm trying to see a card with, like, four bats. Come on. <laughs> that would be crazy. I'd love to see something like that. Permafrost on the full hollow. Two for two on full hollows. Let's keep that streak going. That streak going. Bell Witch Reverse. Nice. Got this coal miner. Potion seller on the full hollow. Very nice. <laughs> you have to keep this no late you can't open the kickstarter you can't open the kickstarter um got adam the reverse and a mothman i think it paused i think it paused hold on uh, it will alex it will rip tonight I realized that the Spotify never got opened after that computer restarted. Let me get it going again. There we go. Yeah, I didn't even realize that. <laughs> no, it's good to have it on. Um, but yeah, I just had forgot ever since the computer restart. Dark Watchers full hollow, very nice. Hey, no, all good, all good, Alex. Yeah, like I said, I got this one here, and then I got a VMAX Climax for Jacob, and then I got shit after that, so half hour or so. Yeah, the, the PC issues more than anything, I guess. Grafton Monster Full Hollow had the, uh, the infamous black screen come back and bite us tonight again, where, uh, where my PC just goes black. It's happened, I think, three times now, unfortunately. I'm trying to figure it out but it's kind of tough to figure out especially when it doesn't show any any uh, error messages turtle bottoms monster reverse yeah yeah an unfortunate but one that we've seen a couple of times so <laughs> what happens if we don't get it jacob what happens if we don't get it river of time full hollow but yeah, I think it's pretty tough to keep MetaZoo sealed lane. I don't think you're wrong about that. Nice full hollow, River of Time. Wow, check that out, Ryan. I know you like your Mothmans. How about a second one for you? Congrats. <laughs> you don't want to know. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Why not? Another one, Ryan. Good stuff, man. Congrats. I know you like your Mothmans, like I said. Why not, man? Start a nice collection of them there. 
fill up a whole binder page at this rate. Let's go. Congrats. Turtle Bombs Monster Reverse. Lane, believe it or not, the Wendigo Full Hollow overtook the Mothman. Wendigo overtook the Mothman, believe it or not. Sacrifice the first dead boss. <laughs> Napper Rebobs Reverse. <laughs> oh man. We just have to start one on fire. <laughs> That's the whole break. It's just uh it's just a nightfall box being lit on fire. Nice nap and rebounds. That's that's funny. <laughs> that is funny, Jacob. Dark Watchers again, full hollow. Another one, nice. Not bad. <laughs> Lots of full hollows. Let's go. Nice lane. Yeah, that one is on the come up right now for sure. A lot of Wendigo love. Old Book's Crying Tree Full Hollow. Nice. Bell Witch. <laughs> Kimmy says we can't do the sacrifice. Whatever Kimmy says goes, so no sacrifice, I guess. <laughs> Gotta listen. Uh, it, yeah, yes and no, Nag. Yes and no. Old Book's Crying Tree. Um, I guess it's kind of the community that decides it, as well as, like, the... The artists and the producers of MetaZoo. But yeah, the community definitely helps form the opinion, for sure. Boil over on the full hollow. Nice. <laughs> Just give it to me to keep it safe, right? <laughs> oh, man. Crazy Critter of Bald Mountain. Because ultimately, Nag, like the creators of MetaZoo and stuff like that are gonna decide what makes it into each set. And they did put Mothman into Cryptid Nation and Nightfall. So yeah, for that reason, they do kind of have a little bit of an emphasis on it, that's for sure. Thunderbird on the reverse, not bad. Not too bad at all. All right, half number two now, Ryan. It's been a good first half. Let's crush it on half two. And we got the VMAX Climax still as well. Good stuff. Guardian Angel Reverse. Nice one. Congrats, man. Let's keep it going. Headless Coal Miner on the Full Hollow. Nice. Another one there. Keeping it going with the Full Hollows. Nice to see. Boogeyman reverse, not too bad at all. There you go. Yeah, lots more MetaZoo coming up in the future though, Lane. Cryptid Nation 2nd Edition. Um, and then, what is it, Everfest or something like that? Releasing um, March. So, we are going to be ripping quite a bit more Prism Beam on the Full Hollow. It is fun stuff to rip. Air Rods Reverse. Nothing too crazy there. Ooh, Divine Covenant. Definitely a little bit of a slept on one here. Love this full hollow. Divine Covenant. Sleeper card, in my opinion. Everfest is February 4th. Gotcha. I thought it was March 4th, but awesome. February 4th, even better. Holy cow, that's going to be a chaotic time. We got Brilliant Stars, I believe, February 12th. That's going to be a nuts time. We're going to be ripping Everfest right up until that release of uh, Brilliant Stars. That's the Pokemon release. I think that's February 12th, if I remember right. Nice! Grim Reaper Full Hollow! Boom! Ryan, congrats! believe that is one of the ones you were looking for. Congrats, man. Very nice hit. Yeah, and then of course, uh, we got a lot of exciting stuff January as well. Um, the start of January is going to have, of course, that Almanac, the next run of the Almanac Volume 2. Um, and then mid to end, uh, mid to the end of January, somewhere in there, 
We're gonna do that first edition fossil um, booster box break somewhere near the end of January. And then yeah, sounds like it's gonna be a big February. Thunderbird reverse again and an Ingrid cold. Yeah, so that one is one of the chases. Grim Reaper, Mothman, uh, Ingrid Cold, and Wendigo, and Headless Horseman. That's like the top five um, in no specific order there. Wendigo appears to be the top now. Uh, Stalactyls, and some of the other reverses and some of the other full hollows do still have some value, though. But not quite as much as that. Um, like Guardian Angel's a decent one for sure but not quite in the top five. Obsidian full hollow. And like I said, you'll pretty much always take a full over a reverse, Jacob. Very nice, Neg, very nice. That's awesome, man. Nice! Headless Horseman full hollow. Another one. Boom! Absolutely smashing it, Ryan. Congrats, man. Really, really good box. You had the Horseman. Congrats, man. Awesome box. Thanks. Sean just dropped the link there as well, Jacob, for TCG player. For MetaZoo, you can always check there. And a Mothman there, nice. None. Uh, foil. This has been a good one, Ryan. Still got a pack, or a stack of packs left as well. A little over a half dozen remaining. Uh, Murphy Bro Mud Monster Reverse and an Ingrid Cold again. Has been a box. Congrats to Ryan. Very nice. Hope Diamond on the Full Hollow. And a Permafrost. Yeah, this is one of the good ones, man, for sure. One of the better ones we've seen on the channel. Lots of nice stuff coming Ryan's way. It's gonna be another full hollow is the Oklahoma octopus and boil over. Uh, permafrost reverse. Three to go and then the B Max Primax. Ten packs in that guy, of course. Bell Witch on the full hollow. Nice. And Wendigo. Nice. Let's leave those. I think they already made it a point. Um, Reverse Wendigo, nice. Um, so, eh, so yes, but also no, Neg. Yes, but also no, because the market is definitely like accepting them. Um, Prism Beam, but there's a lot of other reasons behind that, um, beyond just like them continuing to print them. I think, but overall, I would say the answer to your question is yes. I think it's a little bit more complicated than that. Um, considering you have to remember it is still a trading card game, but um, as they like to mention on each and every MetaZoo pack, it is a also a collectible card game. So it has a little bit more to um, a little bit more to do with the collector side of it, which is a lot different compared to other TCGs. Yeah, exactly. Like Sean said, Turtle Bottoms Monster, Potion Seller, and some tokens. All right. So that does it for the MetaZoo, Ryan. VMAX Climax now. Yeah, what Sean said is a pretty good point, though. I think that's a good way to go about describing it. All right, Ryan, good luck on it. VMAX Climax. Like I said, like every single pack says, it is a collectible card game. So yes, people do play the TCG, um, but yes, a lot more people do collect it. So it makes it a lot different and a lot tougher to navigate that question for that reason. But it is a valid one, like I said. Yeah, like generally speaking, especially especially Nag with a new card game. Um, emphasis on new. I think that matters. 
Um, like, for example, if you compare it to Flesh and Blood, where Flesh and Blood started, it was definitely, like, the trading card uh, game side of things. It was really starting to, like, blow up. A lot of people liked the mechanics and stuff behind it. Um, that's a Zapdos V. And nice, a Bronzong on your character rare. Good stuff, Ryan. Nice Bronzong. And a Zapdos. Like I said, then, um, once a... Once a trading card game does get a little bit more established over time then of course it does allow for more opportunity to um, the tcg they can diversify themselves with the products they release like for example with certain like english pokemon sets there's going to be a lot of just very playable cards and then not like as many like collector cards uh, but then there's going to be certain sets where they can do both and then there's going to be certain sets where it's going to be aimed towards collectors kind of like celebrations but Taking an all collector standpoint is uh, a much different way, like MetaZoo is doing. So that's why it makes it a little bit tough to navigate the question. And it's a very good question. Ice Rider Calyrex. Here you go, Ryan. And a reverse. Yeah, for sure, man. I think everyone's still learning, including myself, of course. Yeah. You're not the only one. And every single person that you're gonna ask, Nag, will probably have a different opinion as well to make it to make it even no, even more difficult. <laughs> Everyone's gonna have a slightly differing opinion on stuff like that, especially right now. Inteleon. but that goes with anything, of course. Ice Rider Calyrex V Max, and a Charmeleon Reverse. Very cool. Nice. There you go, Ryan. Nice. Yeah, for sure. I agree with that. <laughs> if you want to, yeah, if you consider like the numbering and stuff like that, Ryan, parallels and stuff like that. Yeah, that's just, ooh, there was some gold, I think, in there. I think I saw some gold. Um, yeah, but if you want to talk about like numbering, Ryan, that can, that can definitely be true, for sure. But I think we might be heading that way kind of soon, it seems like with certain trading card games at least. All right, Ryan, let's see it. I think I saw something. I think I did see something. Ooh, the Derilodon VMAX, nice. Very sick golden Derilodon VMAX. There you go. Very, very cool, Ryan. That is sick looking. And a Durladon V. This is this is the pack that Wyatt needs right here. <laughs> oh man, he'd be going crazy. And Octillery. Oh man, that's one of my favorites there. The Octillery. What a pack. Character rare Octillery. Very sick. <laughs> that's what I mean, Ryan. <laughs> Wyatt would have been losing his mind. Love that. Nice pack there. Octillery, like I said, this one here, the character rare, one of my favorites. Yeah, me too, Nag, me too. One of my favorites. Very sick. And then another Gerilodon. <laughs> yeah, Wyatt would have been losing his mind if this was his pack, holy cow. <laughs> he uh, He's going to start collecting Gerilodon cards, so that would have been quite the pack for him. That would have been quite the pack. You'll have to show him the personal tomorrow for Ryan P. Uh, Ryan H. <laughs> That's crazy. The Wyatt Pack special. Got a Lycanroc. An Umbreon VMAX. Nice. There you go. And the uh, special Dark Energy. Hiding Energy, that is. Nice Umbreon VMAX. There you go. Not too bad. So much fantastic set in this stuff. It never stops. Never stops with this set. It just keeps coming, keeps giving. Keep finding more and more awesome cards. <laughs> That's awesome, Ryan. That's such a sick one, the Dragonite. You're gonna like it, man. What do we got? Gardevoir. Another Umbreon. The V now. And Pasmussen character rare. Nice. Pasmussen. There you go, Ryan. Character rare. 
Solid. Umbreon action. Pass missing action. Move that sleeve and let me get another pack of sleeves right away. Keep going. All right, good luck. But we got four left here, Ryan. Yeah, never can really go wrong with an Umbreon Nag. I would agree. Never can go too wrong with one of those. There's a Charmander. Dusclops there. Zera Aura this time for yourself, Ryan. Nice. And a Remoraid on the Reverse Hollow. Nice. Leaves us with three. Uh, they are not, Randy. They are not. I have... Um, after this, I have Jacob. And then I have Alex. It's going to be a VMAX Climax and then a Nightfall and then nothing after that. So if you do want something, it's going to be about 30 minutes from now. About 30 minutes from right now. You're ripping right around one. Zerud, Cobalion. Ooh, that is sick. Character Secret Rare is the Mimic and Acerola. Nice. For Ryan, very cool. Oh, what a pack! The Zekrom character rare as well! One of my favorites! Congrats! There you go, fantastic pack! Character secret rare is the Mimikyu and Acerola. And then the Zekrom! This is just how this product is, Nag. It's crazy. It's just, it's a loaded product. Straight up loaded product. Which one do I put down first? They're both so nice. Craziness. Yo, what's up, Real? Thanks, man. Appreciate that support. Thank you. Yeah, crazy to think that we do have three streams going all at once here. One right on that side of the wall. Another one right on that side of the wall. It is kind of nuts. Three all at once. It is crazy. All very different as well. I mean, right now there's two personals going on. Um, and I'm ripping personals, but all gaming. So very different over here, but yeah, when there's like group breaks going on on that side and then personals, yeah, it can get it can get very different, but all all still ripping. It is crazy. <clears throat> Leon there, ooh, nice a Mimikyu V Max as well, triple rare. There you go. Yeah, this is V Max Climax, correct, correct. And the reverse Stadium card. All right, last pack, man. Good luck on it, Ryan. Yeah, they've both been really good, Ryan. They've both been really good. I would agree. All right, last one here. Got a Flapple, a Bronzong, and a Scorch. Really, really nice box overall, man. Congratulations, Ryan. Nice Metazoo as well. We'll get all these cards protected and all of them sent right out to you. Thanks, Ryan.